Hey folks. Okay, we're up here at the tractor barn. My uh, tractor developed a hydraulic leak. Significant. And of course, I didn't take video of the actual leak, but uh, dug into it and I think I found the problem. And so you will be included on this tractor repair. So I'm fixing to grab this phone, this camera, and you'll see what's going on. Uh, I may have Saturday morning hair, I don't care. Okay, first and foremost, look at that light I got. Yes, my DeWalt power pack, AC power working great. All right, right here is where the issue was. I think this is the pressure line coming out of my hydraulic pump. It was just pouring down through here. And uh, it was not easy to access that. Now, what was it? Three months ago when I did my gas tank, been a cakewalk. This little pipe wrench, this little pipe wrench, only thing I found that fit in there. And then I had to use a cheater bar to be able to get torque on it. So I went to our local tractor company, Cobb County Tractor. And we were able to find, I know you hear all this noise. The replacement part. It's like a compression coupling and it's got a nylon or rubber, rubber seal in there and it's got a nylon rubber washer and then down inside there it's got two little compression rings so that's why i think well that's why i know it's the the <clears throat> outgoing pressure because i gotta pump that stuff up to to lift my three-point hitch back there so that's what we're fixing to do put this thing back together and uh, hopefully uh everything will work good so i'll get some more uh things lined up here um, I may have a different wrench to tighten it back up. I hope so because that pipe wrench was not fun, but hey, it worked. Okay, so here is the old nut, and I did not round that corner. It was like that when I started working on it. Uh, I've already managed to slice my finger real good. Okay, so there's putting the, the new one back on. This one had this one ring, which I think is what I cut my finger on, which was around the end of that hydraulic tube. And then this little spacer, um, seal, whatever you want to call it. You notice how I put it around a locking pin so I wouldn't lose it. That was down inside the inlet on the pump right there. So, I have got to get that. Okay, I, I had put paper towels in there to keep a varmint out of it. So, yeah, now I've got to get it. Got a shadow there. I've got to get it back. Out. I got my <laughs> ball peen hammer holding it up. So, uh, we're going to hope this works. I think 50-year-old um, tractors aren't all what they're cracked up to be. And my tractor's sweating. It's got condensation all over it. Makes it funner to work on. All right, so it it's threading in there, which, you know, in a situation like this, I worry about getting something cross-threaded, but apparently the, uh, let me change my light situation here. The angle of that hydraulic line helps to line that uh, thread up. So, so far, so good. Now, I was talking to my cousin. He said, do you have one of those spanner wrenches for uh, sink work? I said, you know, I think I do. He said, you need to try that because that's what I've been trying to figure out. How in the world I'm gonna tighten this thing back up? Because, see, 
very little play. I mean, very little range of motion there. So, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Look at that. Just like Wayne said it would do. I would never thought of this, I don't think. Cause he said, well, a crow's foot will work. I thought, I don't think crow's foot will get in there. He said, well, what about a, a sink spin wheel? And don't grant me, it's a, I'm not saying it's without aggravation, but so far, so good. And you might say, well, what's the torque on that thing supposed to be? Well, when I worked Lockheed back in the day, they had uh, all kinds of torque specs. Oh, I love it. Get out of here, goat. Yeah, that ain't for you. Abby, scat, you're not supposed to be eating that. That's rose bush trimmings. Now get on out of here. This is the nosiest goat we got. But anyway, uh, back to my story. When I worked at Lockheed, if uh, uh, on the flight line, final checkout for the kit out of here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab you by the horn here in a minute. You don't like that at all. Get on, get on. This ain't for you up here. You're not tractor certified. Uh, the um, Any loose fittings or anything like that, they put flat line torque on it. And that is, you twist it till it stops turning. <laughs> so hopefully, I'm gonna fire a whole blue up here in just a second, and we'll see no leaking. Pulled it out here in the sunshine, still no leaks. So, hydraulic line leak fixed. Now, you know, I told you I got this nut assembly at our local John Deere dealership. They carry all kinds of uh, tractor parts. And um, I paid a lot for it. Uh, but I was actually able to go down there and, and see what they had. You know, they put it in my hand and I knew it was what I needed. I later, just by looking through my Steiner book, found the very same thing at a much, much, much cheaper price. But, you know, I got what I needed and I got my tractor fixed. So, um, this is the joys of owning a 50-year-old tractor. From time to time, you gotta do some work to them. But, they're pretty easy to work on. They're not very complicated. Uh, especially if you got somebody that can give you some tippers. And so this is a tip to all you folks out there with 50-year-old Ford tractors. Hey, Dad, blessed it. I forget. Like my videos. I know I'm supposed to say that first thing, and I usually forget it. Like them. Hey, subscribe. I mean, but if you can just like our videos, that will help us out immensely. That'll get us up, kicked up in those algorithms, and, and you know, more people will see our videos. So uh, like our videos, subscribe, make comments, uh, be nice. I never claim to be a tractor mechanic. So, um, and, and share them. So there you have it. Just another installment of uh, working on old blue. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'm fixing to get out here and put blue in the wind and, and do something. Eubanks Family Homestead. We're hobby homesteaded, tractor repair. You know, it's all the way alive. life.